In the previous lesson, we applied the concept of rate, how rate is a relationship, and using that relationship, we can find the new quantity for a specific unit. Now let's apply this same concept to a more challenging situation. Jesus bought six pounds of apple that cost a total of six dollars and twenty-five cents, and to how much in dollar it costs per pounds of apple. So again, what is our rate? We have one quantity right here, six pounds of apple. And a cost of six dollars and twenty-five cents. So if I would express this as a fraction or a ratio, we have six pounds of apples, okay? And what is the cost? Six dollars and twenty-five, okay? So this is in dollar. And then this is also equivalent to or equal to six dollars and twenty-five over six pounds of apple. Now they want us to know. How much in dollar it costs per pound? What's per mean? Per is relative to one. So all I have to do is this. I have one pound of apple. That's our new condition right there. Time. What is this? If this is pound, when we look at our ratio, we are going to use the one that has pound on the bottom. How many pound do we have? Six pounds of apple. So that the pound cancel out and give us six dollar and twenty five. See how that work? Now we just simplify the math. One times six point two five divided by six. Let's let's take our calculator. One times six point two five divided by six, and this gives us one point zero four. So one pounds of apple is one point zero four dollar, and that's how it works. Isn't that easy? So point zero four. Now let's look at this. This is where they're going to get really interesting because now we have. Two rate. One is six pound per six dollar and twenty five cents. Or now we have a different rate, which is I'm gonna write right here. Okay, basically one dollar and four cent per one pound, or one pound equal to one dollar and four cents. So now we have the same relationship, but expressed in two different way. Now it's actually four different way. So let's see how we can solve this new situation. Jesus' friend also bought four pounds of apple of the same one, okay, with the same price. How much in dollar did Jesus' friend pay for the four pounds of apples? So let me prove to you that both of these will give you the same answer. Let's do with the first one. So we now have the new situation where we have four pounds of apples, right? And time. So remember, this is pound. So we multiply the one of pounds on the bottom, six pounds of apple, and six dollar and twenty-five cents on top. So look how it happened to the pound cancel out. Now we bring back our calculator. Four times six point twenty-five. Four times six point twenty-five divided by six. We basically multiply every number on top divided by the bottom. So divided by six give us what? Four dollar and sixteen cents, which is four dollar round up to four dollar and seventeen cents. So equal to four dollar and seventeen cents. Okay. Now let's try with this rate. It is the same rate. Because it has the same relationship, it just expressed in different quantity. So we have four pounds of apple time. What is this? Well, let's look at this. We have one pound is equal to that values right there. Now look what happened. Pound cancel out, and this is again in dollar. Okay, so we bust our calculator again. What do we have? We have four times one point zero four, and look what happened. It is turning out to be four dollar and sixteen cents as well. So what we have here is four dollar and sixteen cents again, which is equivalent to four dollar and seventeen cents. So that shows you that this method allow you to solve for problem in any situation and using mathematical equation at a higher level by using rate as our relationship. Thank you for watching, and we hope that this video have empowered you to do well in your math class. Streamline Ed PD is an all-in-one education training by teachers, with the mission to empower teachers to support all students. We have interactive practice that go along with this video. The links are in the description below. If you would like your teacher to use this video or create similar video to support you and your classmate. Please subscribe and share this video and your learning experience with your teachers and parents. Together, we can empower you to be successful in school.